Hi, I'm Dr. Andre Kumar. This is a Stanford 25 ultrasound series. In this video, we'll be discussing the ultrasound evaluation for ascites. If you've ever had a patient with abdominal distension and you're wondering if their distension, at least in part, is due to ascites, the point of care ultrasound examination can readily and expediently identify intra-abdominal free fluid. To do this examination, you can use either a phased array or curvilinear probe. For this particular exam and demonstration, I'll be using a phased array or cardiac probe. You'll want to set your device to abdominal mode, which allows for optimal gain, depth, as well as frame rate. And the dot is located on the left side of the screen for abdominal imaging. Going ahead and get my gel. The patient should be lying flat in bed, and there are two areas that you can be scanning. The first is in the mid-axillary line, and the second is in the lower abdomen. We'll start first with the mid-axillary line. What I'll do is have my orientation dot pointed towards the patient's axilla. I'm generally scanning in the mid to mid-posterior axillary line, about in the eighth to 10th intercostal space. What I'm doing in this particular image is I'm looking for fluid in an area called Morrison's pouch. On this image, we see the liver, and the kidney directly juxtaposed to each other. Morrison's pouch is an imaginary space in this instance between the liver and kidney. In this video, we see fluid, which shows up as black, between the liver and kidney. This might be one of the first areas that ascites can accumulate in patients. If you have a patient who you suspect may have more moderate or severe ascites, another area that you can scan are in the lower quadrants, the right lower quadrant and the left lower quadrant. These are pretty self-explanatory. Generally, the marker is pointed in a three o'clock position, and you can scan the right lower quadrant, and you can scan the left lower quadrant. Here we can see a patient with ascites in the right lower quadrant. You can see the bowel loops floating, generally close to the peritoneum, but still this black layer that represents the fluid in the abdominal cavity. 